Hollow is also too kind. Hey everyone, hope you all are doing good. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 12 review so let's get going. At first we see Lawrence free himself from the trap set by the Ramirio Trading Company men. He traverses the forest and finds Hollow, informing her of the Ramirio Trading Company's betrayal. Hollow acknowledges she knew this as soon as she saw Lawrence's condition. Before Lawrence can speak, Hollow stops him and asks him to listen. She admits she's not opposed to killing humans but reveals she knelt and forgave the big wolf for his arrogance. Hollow, however, is furious about Lawrence's kind-hearted nature. She suggests they go to Rubenhagen to deal with Mr. Ramirio, but Lawrence insists they save Nora. Hollow refuses, arguing that Nora and Inek won't view her kindly if they know she's a wolf. Lawrence promises to fulfill Hollow's wish if she saves Nora and tells her he doesn't mind if she hurts Martin and the others. I didn't like how Lawrence forced Hollow to save Nora, despite knowing that it can get Hollow into trouble. I understand Lawrence did this because he dragged Nora into this mess, but he needs to think about the consequences more carefully. We see Hollow agrees to Lawrence's terms, transforms, and asks him to hop on her back. Lawrence reminds her that Nora plans to quit shepherding after the smuggling operation. Hollow requests many honey pickled peaches as thanks. They arrive at the location where Martin, his goons, and Nora are. Lawrence dismounts as Hollow attacks Martin's men one by one. Martin tries to bribe Nora and Anik for protection, leading to a face-off between Nora and Hollow, causing Lawrence to panic since Nora doesn't know Hollow is the wolf. However, Nora stops Inek from attacking Hollow. Hollow leaps over Nora and attacks Martin. Lawrence tells Nora and Inek that the wolf is Hollow. Hollow approaches them carrying Martin's body. When Lawrence asks why she didn't kill him, Hollow explains that she would have, but Martin has gold on him, which would upset her stomach. I'm having serious doubts that Lawrence is a good merchant, because only hard work isn't enough to be a good merchant, and one would need to do some shady things too, but Lawrence is too much of a goody two-shoes for that. Next we see Lawrence retrieve Martin's gold, and Nora asks how he survived, revealing that the merchants told her Lawrence and Hollow were eaten by wolves. Hollow tortures Martin, and Lawrence persuades her to stop. Lawrence then asks Martin why he betrayed them. Martin claims it was Mr. Ramirio who betrayed them, not him. Lawrence demands honesty, and Martin confesses that the payment to Lawrence was too high, so Ramirio instructed him to handle it. Martin also reminds Lawrence that they are equals. Lawrence punches Martin, asserting that they are not alike. He tells Nora that the Ramirio Trading Company planned to kill her and insists they flee with all the gold. Despite knowing the Ramirio Trading Company will pursue them, Lawrence prefers not to resort to violence and believes there may be other ways to resolve the situation. Fleeing was probably the best option for them, but Lawrence cares about others too much, so obviously they didn't do it. Also I expected a more shocked reaction from Nora when she found out Hollow is a wolf, but she was almost unfazed. Moving on we see Lawrence says they should choose a path leading to an ideal future. Hollow agrees and lets Lawrence proceed as he wishes. Lawrence suggests something to Nora and then leaves with Hollow. During this journey, a flashback occurs. In it, Lawrence asks Nora to do something specific with the gold. He learns that the smuggled gold wouldn't be enough to cover the Ramirio Trading Company debt, especially if split with Nora. After more discussion, Lawrence hops on Hollow's back, and they travel to Rubenhagen. Lawrence wants to help the Ramirio Trading Company, believing it will improve his and Hollow's profits. He asks Hollow to leave the Ramirio Trading Company issue to him upon arrival. While Hollow drinks wine at a bar, Lawrence meets with Ramirio at his company. Ramirio is tied to a chair. Lawrence demands Ramirio buy his gold for 500 Lumion coins. When Ramirio refuses, Lawrence reveals a secret box Ramirio had hidden in his chimney. Lawrence trying to save a company that betrayed him on multiple occasions was super annoying to see. Also the chimney scene didn't make sense at all, because Lawrence had no way of knowing that the money was hidden there. Then we see Lawrence decide to sell the gold elsewhere, using persuasive tactics to get Ramirio to write and sign a statement of debt. 
he frees Ramirio to write it, specifying that the money will go to the Rowan Merchant Association. Lawrence says he won't collect all 500 Lumion alone and is sure the Rowan Merchant Association will manage it within 10 years. Ramirio complies. Lawrence then meets with Jacob to discuss the statement. Lawrence offers Jacob the gold, and Jacob agrees to buy the loan for 30 Lumion coins, promising Lawrence 100 Lumion coins once the Ramirio Trading Company recovers. Lawrence then reunites with Hollow at a bar, explaining that they broke even with their dealings involving Nora, the Ramirio Trading Company, and the Rowan Merchant Association. He mentions the further profits helped recover their losses. Hollow asks if they can trust Nora with the gold, and Lawrence replies that if Nora flees with it, they will pursue her. Hollow refrains from asking a second question, noting that Nora should arrive in Rubenhagen soon. I wonder what was the point of doing all that if they ended up with nothing in the end just because of Lawrence's kindness. Also I hope I'm wrong, but I think this might end up being a repetitive gag of the show, which would be pretty annoying. At the end we see that as they approach Rubenhagen's entrance, Hollow brings up the moment she and Nora had a stare down, recalling Lawrence calling out a name during the situation. Lawrence says he doesn't know but thinks he said Hollow's name, joking about it and annoying Hollow. Then, Lawrence says a name, but the bells of Rubenhagen ring, making it hard to hear. Nora arrives with her sheep and a neck, greeting Lawrence and Hollow. I have a strong feeling that at the end of this arc Nora will travel together with our duo on their journey, if that indeed happens then it will be pretty interesting to see how all their dynamics mash together. Overall, Lawrence's goody two-shoes nature in this episode really annoyed me, otherwise it was a decent episode. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.